Welcome again, listeners, to the Inspirational Saturdays Show with your host, Charlene Clark. Now, today, we will be speaking with none other than Major Mackerel, the lyrics Bantan. He yes. has a story to tell, and I introduce to you Major Mackerel right here on the Supreme Vibes Inspirational Saturdays Show. Hi, YouTubers. Don't forget to comment below, like, share, and subscribe. Most importantly, click the notification bell to receive all of Charlene Clark's podcasts. JN Money Card sent from abroad. JN Money Card. But when my land up at JN, okay. I get the money card with them. All right. Just show them your ID okay. and give them your TRN. All right. Go and use at the ATM okay. or swipe instead then. And when you need more cash, and make your family send it in a flash. From abroad to card, get the JN okay. Money Card. It's safe, convenient, right. and free. So down a university, me go admit. The doctor take a knife and him cut me with it. And ball out, so nurse, why you run, come quick. The nurse said, what's the matter? Doctor, tell me what is it. Yes, Major ma Mackerel, yeah, blessings ma and nice honor. Nice elbow, social distance. <laughs> Practice it, yeah? One more time. See there? Practice it. Yes, sir. All right, Major, thank you so much for yes, coming on to the program yeah. and allowing us to have this interview with you. Yeah, I'm delighted to enlighten you your acquaintance you know ah all right major i want to start out with how you start out as a musician tell us how you grew up as a young man and at what point you know that music was a calling well basically you know um we come from a place named kentire papine further up the road up where the university hospital of west indies is and as a youth growing up, um, you know, most time when the fathers and the mothers then split up, the fathers left the children to. Mm -hmm. So my father and my mother split up, and my father um, left we as in children. When he leave my mother, he leave us. So it was five of us growing up in a one bedroom apartment. One room, not even bedroom, one room. And, um, in those days, they have a thing named jukebox, mm -hmm. where you put 10 cents in it and you play the music that you want to play. You have some big man now in the community, them used to um, punch the jukebox, punch two rhythm and one vocal. In other words, when you put in $10, 10 cents, it would have given you three music. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if you want three version mm -hmm. or three vocal. Okay. All right. So when them put in the, 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 the version now, me start DJ over it. Mm hmm Me done DJ, the one that will give me um, a 20 cent, the one that will give me a 50 cent. The one them were fortunate will give me a dollar. Right. And dollar those times was them enough time, money. The dollars are one dollar whole heap of money. <laughs> one dollar could have cooked a pot of food for four or five people. Right. And um, me there on the sound and me, me mean me there on the jukebox a DJ, a DJ. Then the community, 1978, the community of a Miss Kentire beauty pageant mm -hmm. and um, one of the man looked at me and said all the while you are DJ around the jukebox why you never done this of a DJ and he said they never give me nothing he said come and carry you go down there man and when he carry me go down at the community centre introduced me to the MC and I'm not a fact I didn't know the MC but had my name line up to the, 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 the thing and had the line up and then, you know, I got to do my first stage show in 1978. Wow. And uh, I get a look one forward, but at the same time, I do coward within myself. Mm -hmm. So um, after that now, around 1981, 81, I was in Papine Square, a hustle Friday evening, because, you know, Sunday, Friday broke, 
<laughs> and Sunday hungry, hungry right. is the worst thing that can happen to true. anybody. <laughs> true. Friday broke and Sunday hungry. So I get the hustle up my money and you know, to go buy some food so I can have food for Saturday and Sunday. Um, Brigadier Jerry, I don't know if you're familiar with him. Yes. He's a legendary yes. DJ. He yes. have a little brother named Ike Jerry. He was one of the men that used to punch the jukebox for, for me to DJ. He looked for me and he said, Major Mackerel, you have a sound I play down there, say, you know. come and go down there go DJ, you know. And I say, all right, come now, I walk with you. I walk, go down there. And I reach down there now. I get the mic. The first lyrics me DJ me hear boop boop. Which lyrics was it? Yeah, remember? I still remember the lyrics, you know. <laughs> it was my first bad lyrics. It said, bang did la dip, bang did la did la dip, no we me and a chick, we went on a trip. Push part we reach now in a Portland parish. Hey. Right up in a Bangarish district. Me see a youth with body and call himself a dick. Me look in a him and the boy have a ice pick. The boy take him a ice pick and stab me with it. Me run in a one shop and take a piece of stick. And little after that, me start kill him with lick. Me give him one in a him chest. One in a him hip. One in a him back right up in a the grip. Me mash up him mouth and bust up him lip. This man call him finger and mess up him wrist. But at the same time, my body did get sick from the stab when me get with the ice pick. So down a university, me go admit. The doctor take him knife and him cut me with it. And ball out, so nurse, why you run, come quick. The nurse say, what's the matter? Doctor tell me, what is it? The doctor say, when me cut the boy, no blood, no drip. Me looking at the boy, but the pack up a lyrics. Him have lyrics in him lungs, him live a lyrics in him hip. And lyrics in him mouth, chest, back and him lip. And lyrics in him... You know? All right, all right. And, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the mic no, um, Yeah. Whoa, yeah, we still whoa, remember it whoa. because you see Real musician not have to write music, you know? Right, right, right. Your music come and stay with you. All right? And, you know, writing is not a problem, but me never sit down and write a song yet. Me make it, then me write it for publishing mm -hmm. and mechanical rights and, 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 and the rights them what artists supposed to get. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So when me done DJ, my first lyrics you now, and me hear boom boom, me drop the mic and almost run, think I shoot the place, I shoot up. Right, right. That time they salute, them I salute me. And the night after that now, which is the Saturday night, the man, me there, Kentire, my hometown, the man where owned the sound. The son name was King Mozo. And after a time it turned it changed name to Prestige, but King Mozo is the original name. Mm -hmm. The man who owned the son come to me and say, Major McQuill, may I play at one place named Red Light, which is upper St. Andrew in the hills closer to Portland. Mm -hmm. And he asked me if I want to come. I said, yeah, I jump in the van and I go straight to Red Light. When I got a red light now, this is the first me a DJ out of my community. Right. The first me I got DJ for a stranger. Yes, nervous. They know about you. They knew about you then. No, nobody okay. know about you. The first my thing I start up here now. Right. And um, when I reach a red light, I go in at the dance and then give me the mic. Special request to the man, the other man, they but very nervous. Right. They can't hear it in my voice. 
When my DJ the first lyrics, me hear boom, 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 peer forward. Me just get comfortable and right. relax. It's like around the jukebox, me then know. Right. When me comfortable. And mummy, I DJ that night, I DJ, I DJ, I mash up the place, I mash up the place. What year was this? This was 1981, 1981. Right. And you what happened that night, then now? Me then I want to look at and stand up now and me see a girl, I look for me. This is how me became a musician. This is when me decide, say, this is when me want to do. Right. I see a girl I look for me and I call her. And she come to me. And I say, Wow, well, go on, beg you a dance now. And me and her start dancing and them days they are rubber dog. Rubber thing, dog, you know? rent a kind of a Yeah, thing. you know, young girl hug up and you whine and dance and something just come in on my mind and I look for her and say, Who you live with? She so says she live with her grandmother. And I said, so I um, can't come home with you. And she said, yes. You know what that do for me? Mm-hmm. But you ask me, mommy, man, because mm-hmm. before that, nobody no want me, no girl right. at all, no look for me. So your first night so you go to the So my first night, I go to my first function out of my community. I right. get a girl. You know what it is like for you me. You get a forward, you get a forward girl. Forward and get a girl, but then you know what it was like for me. Right. From this, so I realized yeah, this is me, love. Mm-hmm. The music. Yeah, and you know, me, me, me have a whole heap of years struggling from 81 to um, around 86. Mm-hmm. You know, not struggling, but DJing all over the island now. And, mm-hmm. Up and down, me and Ninja Man, them time the Ninja Man named JJ. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then him changed him name to Ugly Man. Mm-hmm. Then him changed him name again to Double Swift. Then him changed it back to Ninja to Man. Ninja it Man. was me and him. Up and down, up and down, a DJ. And you know, we just keep up the work and keep doing what we are doing. What, what was so important for you to keep? to keep the momentum going, to keep the drive going, to, 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 to make it in the music industry, to build your brand. What was so important for you? What well, was... basically, you know, me the love when me I do. Mm-hmm. So you have the, a passion. Me the, me the, yeah, me the like. Yeah, I am the kind of youth where me the know me I go be famous. I right. don't know if me did I go be bad man. I <laughs> don't know if me did I go be cricketer, football or anything, but here we are. I am the youth growing up. If I come here so and a crowd of people there here, so I have to do something that's them see me. Right. To right. recognize. Right. I have to be recognized. Yeah. You know, me have to do something. So it's, entertainment uh, is in your blood. Yeah, it's in my blood. You. From 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 youth days. And it's in a whole heap of a youth, a whole heap of youth that's growing up now. But people don't know. And sometimes people judge the youth them wrongfully. Mm-hmm. Lot of these youths where you see are going with the things them where them are going with is attention them need. Mm-hmm. Them need attention where people can see mm-hmm. and understand mm-hmm. and know the struggles and the situations where them in. Right. See, them need attention. But me know. Me will come here so I nobody now look for me and me just lick the fence. Right, you make it, you make yeah, it be make known. It, make it be known. So me didn't know so that me want to be a public figure. Right. But me never know if me there go be one famous police, <laughs> one famous bad man, one famous singer, one famous cricketer, one famous... I never know what but I wanted to be. something would have come out of, of, of you yeah. and, and, and being this individual who like to be heard and to be seen. You know and that me it know was something going to come out of it. I don't know where me there go be. But then, um, after that, you know, me a DJ and what really mold me into the music now is 1983. Um, Dragon Day at St. Thomas. Right. Them time they, um, you they have Red Stripe Day, mm-hmm. Dragon Day, Guinness Day, Heineken Day, that D&G mm-hmm. used to keep a lot of things promoting them brand mm-hmm. and selling them liquor. Dragon Day, you buy two dragon, you get three. Mm-hmm. 
you know, Dragon Day at Center Mass, I go DJ and DJ the whole day in the sun, you know, because the event did have to close down by 4 o'clock. Right. Because the sun will be a DJ and I go to Westmoreland and go play the same night. Mm -hmm. So I DJ the whole day, you know, mommy. And DJ till the white something come here, so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm, I don't know mm -hmm. if DJ is still a DJ now till right, them thing right. there. But you DJ till you see one white something come right. right. What, yeah, so? Right. Yeah. <laughs> and, and when I don't DJ hungry, you know, mommy. <laughs> The promoter looked at me and the, the man who owned the sound, you know, say, all right, uno, uno, you do a good job, come with me. When I walk with him, Billy says, the money me I go get. I want chicken leg and a slice of bread him give me. Oh, wow. And every other man where the DJ get a chicken leg and a slice of bread. Oh, wow. Him see him sound, I play a West Mall on the night, you know. And he no have no DJ if he go down there now because the man them say, me not go to West Milan because today we DJ all day and get chicken bread. Chicken wow, leg and chicken bread. Chicken leg and bread, right. So me say, all right, me jump on the truck. The man them say, mackerel, you are idiot. You are mad man. You can DJ for chicken, chicken leg and bread the true, whole day and true. go back at night go DJ for this man. Yeah. True. But you so had a vision. Say, so, when I reach a West Milan now, I reach down there and it's fortunate that I buck up and three or four more local DJ from the community. So I just hold it with the DJ them from the community. But the whole story is to tell you is it's not about the chicken leg, nor the bread. It's a vision. It's, it's just the vision, vision, the big picture. The bigger picture. Where, where, where me did I look for. Right. And right, right. now, out of all of the artists then, the whole six of we were, were, were used to DJ the sound and sing for the sound. Mm -hmm. I was the only one who went to West Milan, mm -hmm. and I am the only one who is still an artist, still an today. artist today. Um, I think two or three of them died, and um, one of them had the construction, mm -hmm. one of them had the security work, and I don't mm -hmm. know where the other one is. Right. So when me are to Uno, all our own people were there out there. Even if you're not a nurse, lawyer, doctor, teacher, don't make no one and nothing stop you from being what you want to be. You see, life is this game we cannot explain. It struggles our heart and it puzzles our brain. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It makes the day look like night and make the wrong look like right. Mm -hmm. But right now, as long as you are in this life and you are alive, don't make nobody tell you that you cannot do this and you can't be that. And don't make nobody think that them is more than you. Exactly. Because yeah. the madman where you see a walk up on the street, him eat out of the garbage pan every day. But yet still him alive. The rich man will live at Beverly Hills and Jack Seals and, and, and who pastor. Them eat from them dining table, luxurious food, but yet still them alive. You know where they show you? The only necessity we have in life is two necessities. We have to eat and we must sleep. So no man no better than you. The man we are eating rich food up at Beverly Hills and the madman we are eat out the of garbage. the garbage pan. Mm -hmm. The two of them still alive. Blessings, blessings. You understand me, people? Blessings. So don't give up on the thing and don't make nobody stress, you know. If them are blessed, you know, they tell them bless, you know. But if them are giving prob no problem, tell them to pack up and left, you know. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah. Me, I say. Tell, tell me, tell me my career. 
in during all of this there must have been people who motivated you and keep you strong who was that or who were the, 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 the backbone to, uh, to be behind major mackerel's success well right now see him there you know <laughs> come over here so freddy over here, so we can see you. Yes. yeah this is freddy chambers freddy chambers i did that man Marky dreadlocks, I did that nibby bam. So Fred, if Fred, this is the first man that carried me going to our studio and right. produce a song with me, you know? Right. Oh, Bless up Freddie so. Chambers. Uh, what you can tell me about Macrill in a short little time for the listeners them understand the, the, the process of having somebody behind you who believe in the thing too. Yeah, well, I know him before. Before Karen take him to the studio. Right. I'm always over on my own. Right. All more time he used to run up and down and did have all some little bad cups in him. Right, him right. can't tell you that. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, up and down, stand pipe and then place. Him really changed my life, you right, know. Right, right. Because to be real with you, mm -hmm. all of my friends when I used to party with dead left me. Oh, yeah, man. No and this man here really said, yeah, man. Major mackerel, you know. All one time when I call up in me and mm -hmm. I said to my friend, don't leave over here. Right. I tell him I'm over my house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. All right. Blessings, Blessings. Freddie. Yeah, man. All right. Yeah, Freddie Chambers is name, you know. <laughs> yeah, All right. So, so, so now you're into the business and now people knowing about you and, and you're doing your shows and, and, and Major Mackerel is the lyric mountain and everybody know about Major Mackerel now and, you know, the thing flowing. Yeah. But even so, comes some sort of, you know, breakdown again where, you know, you're tried, you're tested again. You, you yeah, know, man. Yeah, man. Thing is tested again and you want to share some of that with our Well, listeners. right now, you know, to be real, you know. A truck will run over my head, but me never remember for dead. <laughs> right. You know, you know, in reality, you know, I've been through so much. Right. You know, me and my friend them go road. Me and my friend them go road and we dip on the road and no money no they home, so we have to look food for care home. Right. You know, me right. go road with two man. One of them end up dead, one in a pinch you and me come home. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the time me I get serious and bad. Mm -hmm. Freddy Chambers and a little youth when he am youthy and a youth named Matters from Standpipe look at me and say, Major Mackerel, you're a good DJ. Mm -hmm. Stop the way you are though. Right, right. You know, Freddie, Freddie is like. Freddy is like my father, my daddy, and my papa. <laughs> Everything in one. Yeah, you know, and, and I am grateful to have these grand, wonderful people around me. And after me going to the studio with Freddy, the first song I did was a song named Dung in the Sea. Dung in the Sea? Yeah, Dung in the Sea. He gone Dung, Dung in, in the, the oh, Sea. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. as a mackerel, me they live in the sea. Because the sea was nice. The sea was pretty, see, full of current, full of electricity, who provide the light, where the spotty groupie, we are down in a the sea, down in a the sea, well as a mackerel, me live a water bottom, you have some fish we down, they say them a money man, like the one named Parrot and him friend Wenchman. Parrot said that him own house and land. Wenchman say him own ten minivan. But all them attack, them don't what a damn, them no rich like Pampas, the big belly man, cause him belly big. None! He got bank. What do you mean? Don't he not the sea, he not the water, but about. Don't he not the sea. <laughs> yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. And after me do that song, they know. You know, it, 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 I get look at your play and look at it and look at this and that and then you, um, you have a man named Lord Ludders, he, 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 he died now, may his soul rest in peace. And you have Mark Cobran, which is Mark Dreadlocks, he was a farmer, reggae boy, mm -hmm. used to play soccer for Jamaica. Okay. And then you have a man named Vibes, Mr. Harold McClarty, Mr. Biggs from Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. All right, them hear about me. All right. 
And um, when them hear about me now, them invite me to the studio. Right. All right, so I go to Tough Gang now. And when I reach a Tough Gang and I look, I see, um, what's your name? Rita Marley. I see Johnny Clark. And I see who again? Um, Ika Mouse. Ika Mouse. Yeah. And uh, me, imagine me standing upside of Rita Marley and Ika Mouse and right. Johnny Clark them right, time there. Right, right. Just that alone had me like this. Shaking, jittery. Yeah, and um, then Tony Kelly, which is the engineer, who, who, who was the engineer at that time, Tony Kelly looked at me and said, um, Major McQuill. He said, What's your name? He said, Major McQuill. He said, All right, go around there, son. Make me hear all your sound. So I go around there and still nervous, you know? Because people are look for me at DJ and I go do my rec first record. I don't know if I go do it good, I don't know what is what. Anyhow, when I reach around there, they, they, they say, all right, tape a roll, you know, do a yard, red light. Then I say, young man, you're wrong. <laughs> you don't know you can't trouble the Dan man and the Dan band. Right. You! <laughs> and I did it. On spot? Yeah, no, round the mic in the studio. Right, right. When me done the three and a half minutes now, me look on him and me say, all right, me ready for do the record, you know. Right. Dave Tony Kelly look on me and say, nah, man, come round here, sir. Me say, what happened? When me reach round there, they was recording the demo had, they was recording mm -hmm. what I was doing round, 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 round in a device in room. Mm -hmm. So, in a three and a half minutes, I became the, fear, the, the test run. Right. The song where you hear, where boss me, mm -hmm. it was a test run when them said, make me hear all your sound. All right. So, in a three and a half minutes, you know, I get the biggest, and that the body's number one. one song, Dan Man. Yes. Then, they are Papi, you know, after my record the song, I was at Papi, and I do what I have to do. And one day, a youth named Bunny, me and Bunny kick off. Bunny, you know, a bigger man for me, and he say him bad on me. Matter of fact, he, me know him bad on me. But me, me there want to look bully myself too, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So Bonnie this me and me and him in an argument and me use a cutlass and chop him. So me have to run away from Papi now. So Bonnie a bigger man. Me have to run away from Papi. And me there Portland now one place named Bangor Ridge of Portland. That time, I don't know if you remember when Barry Garden, Barry G, Barry G. Lose the work at JBC, JBC and move to RJR. The person that get his slot was Free Eye. Free Eye. Rest in power, Free Eye. Anyway, you're there. I mean, your sons and daughters be kings and queens of today, tomorrow, Less, yesterday, and forevermore. Yes. Planted by the rivers of waters, fruitful and multiply. But when Barry G leave the work at JBC, Free Eye get his slot. My friend Uti. Fee, mother used to be free, I help her. So I give you to my son and tell him to give him mother, to give free aid for me. Mm -hmm. And the day when me give him it was the day when me and Bunny kick off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Me end up hurt Bunny and have to run with our Portland. While me there at Portland now, one day me there down in the field and me I hear the music. Can't touch it, Dan Ban, can't touch it. Dan Ban, do no rush it. So me I wonder if somebody has seen my song. Me I wonder if, if, and me I play upon the radio, me I wonder what is what. So me start follow the sound. And me I leave the valley, and when me I follow the sound, me follow it go straight to a radio. 
When me hear the radio now, I'm here free. I said Major Mackerel, Garfield Dixon, mm -hmm. Garfield Major Mackerel Dixon. Mm -hmm. Me go so now and grab one bag and start put me clothes them in it. <laughs> so me bridging them. I say that time they are blacker. Them I call me. Mm -hmm. And where you go blacks? You see a my song that I play upon the radio, you know, me, I go home. <laughs> and the man, they must say, you're mad, you can't go back at town. <laughs> Bunny, I go kill you. Right. I say, eh, I have to go face this. I mm -hmm. pack up my bag now, drive from Portland upon the country bus, come half a tree, take a next chichi bus, come a papi. When I come a papi now, I have a little food when I carry from country. I me close them. When me reach in the square, the first person me see, guess how? Now, Bonnie, Bunny. when me and him are wild. Right. When me see Bunny, me see me hear Bunny say, Why well, go on, DJ? <laughs> me I say, No, sir. Because <laughs> I see Bunny now and, drop, and drop my bag now and ready for <laughs> running run now. See, <laughs> Bunny say, Why well, go on, DJ? So, so you know what, you know what, come out of that mackerel, it's good to face your fears. JN Money Card sent from abroad. JN Money Card. But when my land up a JN, okay. Me okay. get the money card with them. Right. Just show them your ID. Okay. And give them your TRN. Right. Go on use at the ATM. Okay. Or swipe instead then. Right. And when you need more cash, and make your family send it in a flash. From abroad to card. Get the JN okay. Money Card. It's Safe, convenient, and free. Yeah, man. So, so when Bunny yell me up now, me go so now, boom, and 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 and, and me look, me see everybody. I look for me, you know, everybody. Or uh, some girl whenever I used to talk to me, I I'm a krill. <laughs> we, we. Yeah, me know me do on one song, but me never know the magnitude of the, of the song. song. Right. The next day now. I get a phone call. And the phone call was Major Mackerel. I was going to Macril, never send some people to come check it tomorrow. I said, Who is this? He said, Mr. Biggs. That time I never know the man that I work for or nothing. I just know the people them that work for him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right? Mark Cobran, um, Lord Bloodhards used to work for him. Freddie Chambers never used to work for him. Freddie Chambers was a man that bossed me and Tiger. Right. Freddie, he produced Puppy Love with Tiger. Mm -hmm. You know that song? Puppy yes, Love, yes, Puppy yes. Love. I him produced that. All right? And I him produced my first tune, and him produced Tiger's first tune. And me dear Papi, you know, and them man the link me, and when I said, I'm going to go up there tomorrow. I said, tomorrow I go early. Shoes steer up. Mm -hmm. Pants clean but not look good. Mm -hmm. Shirt mm -hmm. clean but not look good. Mm -hmm. But you and, go. But I still go. Mm -hmm. And when I look, I see a line of rent a car come around the square. Mm -hmm. So I say, I must need them man here yeah, check. So them daddy and them attack to me. And, and when I look, I see a man start count some money. And when the man I count the money now, I go so bam and take a prep. That time that the only green money we did have in Jamaica was a two dollar bill. And I look but me I say but them they are not two dollar bill. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I still have peep through the side of my eye, you know? Right, right. And boom the man count half a thousand US and give me. And I look on the thousand US and I say, Am I want this? He said, yeah. So I remember the morning my mother walk to work. My mother leave the house to go work. And when she lift up her foot bottom, I see the cardboard mm -hmm. in her shoes. Because mm -hmm. the shoes bottom gone, so she put a piece of cardboard in there mm -hmm. and glue it in inside. So she can walk on that to go work. As I get the $1,000, the first thing I do, I go buy her four pair of shoes. Four? Four. No, one, two, three. Four. Four. And I buy the four pair of shoes now. She used to come through Papin Square, down the drive to go to work, and come back through Papin Square when she come from work. 
She had come from work, I go so bam now and I say, Mama, for the 300 US yeah, and say four pair of shoes. Yeah. She said, Lord God, me no want it. Oh who you got thief? Oh who got this? No, 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 no. And everybody I said, Mama Jean, your son a DJ. Because right. when me a boss, my mother no listen to radio and right, music right. and you know, she no know nothing. She right. said, Yes, Mama, him have the big song. Major, tell them about the show again. Well, ladies and plenty, man. This show is a virtual show and it's a major mackerel benefit concert. The 12th of December, Saturday the 12th of December, 2020. And um, live performance will be Agent Sasko, Caperton the Fireman, King Yellowman, the only king of the dance hall. One king, King Yellowman. Anybody else say them a king or queen then? <laughs> All right? One king of the dance hall, King Yellowman, Chakademus and Pliers. Um, um, Chakademus and Pliers, Caperton, Agent Sasko, Admiral Tibet, Fred Lux, and Prince Allah. And um, we have more artists spending. 